I have just pulled in my driveway from picking up my click and collect grocery order. It is my second week attempting the $50 grocery challenge and I have just spent $51.23. So I'm going to take the shopping in and I will give you a rundown of what I have purchased this week. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Corinne, a 30 something living alone. And as I've just mentioned, this is my second week attempting the $50 grocery challenge. Basically the idea is to spend no more than $50 on groceries for the week. It doesn't include things like toiletries and cleaning products. It's just the food that I eat. And in my first week I failed, absolutely failed. You can watch that video here. But this week, I've just come in with my weekly shop at 51.23, so I'm super, super happy with that. I am hoping I've done a better job at planning ahead this week, and that I'll be able to stick to just using the things that I've bought. So let's open up these bags and see what I bought this week. Okay, so one good thing about this week is that because I cooked two meals last week, I have quite a few leftovers in my freezer that I can eat this week. So I won't be cooking every day. And that's just one of the ways that I manage living alone and managing how I'm able to not waste food and save money and cook for myself. Passion fruit soft drink. Uh, like I said, I put all the things I needed into my cart and I had a little bit of money left over. So I was able to stock up on 10 cans. Um, I just drink them like here and there. Now we have some sweet potato wraps. Uh, Helga's, I don't actually think I've tried this flavor. I usually get like spinach wraps, so I'm excited to try these. And I'm just gonna be using these for lunches this week. Last week, I completely forgot to think about lunch at the days that I wasn't at work. So at the moment, I'm only working part-time Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and I had bought lunches last week for those days and forgot like Monday and Friday and stuff. So this week, I've got plenty of lunch food. Bananas, I will take these with me to work on the days I go to work. I just got a bag of iceberg lettuce for my wraps. Um, I don't love buying fresh food, veggies and things in plastic. However, this is just such a more convenient way to buy lettuce when I'm living by myself and I'm the only person who's going to eat it. And lettuce just goes bad so quickly uh, that I find that this is the best. And that's going on my wraps for lunch. Another thing to put on my wraps is just some cream cheese. I just got the plain old Woolies brand cream cheese. And I got some salami to pop on my wraps too. I have some olives in the fridge that I may put on as well. So lettuce, cream cheese, salami, olives, like an Italian kind of theme going with on with my wraps. Okay, now this was something that I spotted that I'm pretty sure was on sale this week and that's why I picked it. Um, it is marinara mix. So mixed seafood in there, it was, 739 for 528 grams. So I'm going to make up a lovely big batch of marinara pasta um, for one of my meals this week. And then also I'll probably have one lot of the leftovers and then I'll freeze two of the leftovers to be used in following weeks. Um, I did have some shell pasta, but I didn't think it was gonna be enough to make four whole serves. So I grabbed some spaghetti for my marinara pasta. And yeah, I just got the cheap, cheap Woolies brand, home brand. Cupy mayo is possibly my favorite food in the whole world. Like I love it on pretty much everything. Um, so I had run out. I sticking within the rules of the budget. I could only afford the, or well, I chose to only buy the smaller size bottle and only get the bigger one, which works out more cost effective in the long run. But I probably need to cut back on how much of this I actually eat anyway. So I just got a smaller little one of those. I got some Parmesan cheese to go on my pasta. I just got the Essentials Home Brand Woolies brand um, finely grated. I'd rather than like the fresher stuff that you can get. Um, Cause this was cheap and I like the taste of it. So perfect. And then I got this bottle of Passata again to use for my marinara pasta. I got some snacks. Now I'm not sure I, well, I am sure. I will not eat both whole boxes of these this week. But again, I had a little bit of more money because I had quite a few meals already frozen that I'm going to eat. So I thought I would stock up a little bit on some snacks. And then the other thing that I wanted to 
stock up on a little bit was just to have a couple of ready-made meals in my pantry. Uh, that's where I got stuck last week. I didn't really plan for a couple of lunches, a couple of meals. I was kind of like, oh, we'll see what happens. And then when the day came, I didn't really have anything prepared. So I just got a muscle and chicken and a butter chicken. Um, I really like these. They didn't have great reviews on the Woolworths website, but I have eaten these so many times when I was teaching, I used to take them because they're just really quick in the microwave. Um, and I, they're plain, they're basic, but I quite like them. So yeah, just to grab a couple of those to pop into the pantry. They last until July and August next year. So they'll definitely get eaten and just good to have on hand so that I'm not going and getting Maccas or having to go out and buy like a whole heap of stuff when I am trying to save money. <laughs> And that's everything I bought this week in my grocery shop. Stick around. I'm going to take you along with me for the week and we'll see if I can stick to this budget and have a successful $50 grocery challenge week. Fingers crossed. so good. This week has just felt really easy with this challenge. I really do think that this is one of those things where the more times you do this, the better you will get at it. And particularly because last week I made a few meals and froze them. And this week I just had a really good supply of stock on hand and food on hand to eat. The wraps I had for lunch were delicious and that food lasted really well. And yeah, it's just felt very easy to stick within the budget this week. That said, one thing I'm now thinking about is that I hadn't really stipulated an amount of money that I was happy to spend on like takeaway or eating out, that kind of thing. And obviously I'm trying to save money. Um, that's kind of the point of the challenge, but also I, it's not that I don't have money. It's not that I have to deprive myself because I can't eat out or I can't have things. So I think moving forward, I need to think about giving myself a certain amount that if I want to get lunch out with a friend or go for coffee or have dinner out or something like that, I already know how much I kind of want to spend rather than feeling like it's breaking the rules or like splurging too much. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you do these kind of um, grocery challenges and you try to save money on your weekly shop, do you allow yourself a certain amount of then spending money that is specifically for eating out or takeaway? I'd be really interested to hear how other people approach it. Welcome to McDonald's. Are you using the app today? No, I'm not. That's all right. What can I get for you? Uh, can I get a crispy Caesar wrap in a medium meal? Uh, can I get an um, iced hazelnut latte? Full Christmas vibes over here. This is my absolute favorite mug cup thing to drink out of. Um, it says slay my name, slay my name, and this little Santa in a sleigh. It's so cute, but it's one of those mugs that you, it's got like liquid in between layers of the outside of the cup and you put it in the freezer and it freezes and then you put your drink in it and it keeps it cold. It turns it a little bit slushy like. I love it. I need to get one of these style of cups that I can use when it's not Christmas season. If you know where I can get the similar style that's not Christmas themed that I can use, let me know. Oh, I think my timer is just about to go off. 58 seconds. Uh, I have I have dino nuggets in for dinner. Uh, obviously left over from last week when my nephew stayed. Uh, they were actually delicious. They are a 
what's it called? A tempura, tempura battered nugget. And I just thought they were delicious. I bought them for the novelty of the shape, um, but they're actually really, really good nuggets. So highly recommend the dino nuggets. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna have for dinner. I did get McDonald's earlier today. I had to run errands and I had an optometrist appointment and it was just a busy day. And I didn't feel like coming home and getting lunch. I just wanted to grab something while I was out. <laughs> so I did. Uh, yeah, I had a Caesar wrap and it was yum. I really, really, really went there to Mac like to Macca's in particular because I wanted the coffee, the iced hazelnut latte. I love an iced coffee from Macca's. So anyway, very happy with that choice. It was, I think it's like $16 something. So I'm fine with that. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'll be getting any takeaway tomorrow. So I'm pretty sure that apart from the $50 I spent on grocery this week, that's the only other money that I've spent this whole week on food. And that works fine for me. All right, I better get these nuggies out. Mm -hmm.